simply say goodbye for the day. Let's do a draft. Ooh. Okay, again, I have never played Amonkhet. I don't know any of the cards in this set. Um, and it's going to be interesting. And I've also never done a draft, so perhaps I should have done a draft with a set I was comfortable with. Uh... Well, sandworm seems dope. Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I think I like the big boy. Which means we are leaning green. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield under enchanted player's control, that player loses one life and you gain one life. Scarab feast. Exile up to three target cards from a single graveyard. Flying blighted bat. Um as, long as you control a desert. Or there is a desert card in your graveyard. Sidewinder Naga gets one. Oh. Huh. I'm assuming all the lands are deserts. So we're gonna go with another green. This guy ahead of me is taking his time. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt this turn. Sacrifice. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield. Tap and shuffle. You may exert Rona Stalwart as it attacks. When you do, it gets 1-1 one, one until end of turn and can't be blocked by creatures with power 2 or less. Uh, oh, we've got another big boy. Doomfall. Here at Feast again. Soul Singer. Uh, go with a little two drop. Hmm. Could dip blue. I think we do green black. Ooh. You get another sidewinder, or we could go for a mana dork or life. I love life goes on, um, but I only tend to play it in simic decks because it gets to be a little fun. Um, Hmm, I think I'm gonna go Mana Dork. Whenever deals combat damage to a player, untap target creature or land. I think we go the 1 4 here. The 2 drop. Uh, Vigilance and Reach. Oh, search your library for a basic land. Rotting Bone Slasher can't block unless you control another zombie. 
exile to three targets from a single graveyard. Um, I think we're going to reach. Put three minus one minus one cantors on a creature with flying. One drop, let's get it. Ooh. Doomfall, target opponent exiles a creature that control, target opponent reveals their hand, you choose a non-land from it. It's a three drop. Uh, zombie bat with flying. We'll do Doomfall. Um, okay, both of these have come back, so people aren't picking. People aren't picking black a lot, or much green. Dead weakness. See, the problem is I don't know... Oh, Life Goes On came back around. Nice. Not sure. All right. We've got a blue-black land. Insect Horror. Whenever you cast a Bolas Planeswalker spell, you may sacrifice Wasp with Bitter End. If you do, destroy target creature. Exile target creature. Whenever a cycle or discard another card, Horror of the Broken lands. Ooh. Um. I like the two drop, I think. This guy's pretty interesting, and this guy's interesting as well. <clears throat> Again, my familiarity with, uh... Ammon Kit is basically nothing. Wander to death. Return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. I know. I want that. Uh, ooh, Watchful Naga, too. Gravedigger. When Gravedigger enters the battlefield, you may return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Ooh. He's a 2-2 two -two with graveyard pull. This is two cards from your graveyard. I'm just going to have to hope that one of those comes back around. Afflict. Whenever this creature becomes blocked, defending player loses one life. Cultivator. Life goes on. I think we take... Um, Kenra. Eternal. I think that's the pick here. Okay. Put a one, one, minus one, minus one counter on a target creature you control. I don't love that. Whenever you cycle or discard a card, uh, fought, pet, pitiless gains indestructible. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose the one that hasn't been chosen. Oh my god. Okay. We're gonna take that and see if it fucking that's that is interesting. Um Defiant Great Ma Sidewinder String Mummy. Whenever you put one or more minus ones, I'm going to move a minus one counter from other target creatures. Ooh, okay. 
I thought about changing my mind at the last second. I had one mana, mana dork. When Doom Dissident dies, create a 2-2. Two -two. Okay, let's pick that. Excerpt Oasis Ritualist, add two mana of any color. Oh, fuck. I don't know how this excerpt... An exerted creature won't untap during your... Oh. Okay. You're basically going hard. You're going hard on one pick. One play. Ruthless Sniper. Amazing... Miasmic Mummy enters the battlefield. Each player discards a card. Uh, prevent all combat. Whenever you cycle... Okay, I think I like this Mummy card. Uh... Yeah. Okay, I'm holding things up a little bit. Unburdened target player discards two cards. Oh, or I can do another mana dork. A four CMC mana dork, though. No, let's do discard two cards. Put three minus one counters on target creature with flying. Okay. I kind of want to take this and just keep it away from other people. Watchful Naga or Sharpshooters. I have a Sharpshooter, right? And a Naga. Yeah. Uh, we're going to take another Naga. Ooh, I don't give a shit about any of these. Okay. I'll take the five damage. Ancient crab. Pack three. Okay. White sorcery. Lots of white in this pack. Okay, I already have an unwin. Enters the battlefield for each kind of counter on target permanent. Put another counter of that kind. Okay, I think I'm just gonna take the beetle. Um. Yeah. I'll take the one four over the four three. I think because he's cheaper. I have two of them. Okay, got Scarab Feast, we got another Scorpion, we got another Sharpshooters. Um, and then we have this, Indestructible, at 5 mana in any color combination. Okay, Trial of Strength, uh, when it enters the battlefield, create a 4-2 green beast Creature token, when a cartouche enters the battlefield under your control, return Trial of Strength to its owner's hand. Pouncing Cheetah has Flash, Cartouche of Strength. When cartouche enters the battlefield, you may have Enchanted Creature fight target creature and opponent controls. Oh, I like that. Uh, but I think I'm going to take the Trial of Strength. Hopefully the other one comes back around. Um, a monitor. Ooh, big old lizard. When you cycle chef at monitor, you may search your library for basic land. Okay, let's do that. Take a big boy. Ooh. Dispossess. Choose an artifact card name. Search opponent's graveyard, hand, and library for any number of cards with that chosen name and exile them. That player then shuffles. Hooded Brawler. Excerpt Hooded Brawler. When you do, it gets 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna take the worm, even though it's a seven CMC. Be a big worm. Um, what is afflict again? Defending player loses one life. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go with desert. Mm. Yeah. Uh, cartouche of strength. Target creature gets plus one, gains indestructible. All creatures able to block this target do so. Destroy target black creature or black planeswalker of that permanent was Liliana's planeswalker. Her controller loses three life. I think I'm going to take this dual card. Uh, we'll take Cory Hauler here. Uh, we'll take Sharpshooters. Um. Ooh. Uh, do I pick the Flash or the Exert? I'll pick the Flash. I already have one of the other cards, so... Variety, I guess. Um, I'll take Sniper because he's a one drop. And he is currently our only one drop creature. Exciting. Uh, oh. I'm gonna store that away. I will store that away. After drafting your final card, common and uncommon cards that exceed the four times collection limit increase your vault progress. Okay. So now we're deck building. Let's look at this. So... How many? We need to get rid of eight cards. So let's get rid of one, one Dune Beetle. We'll get rid of one Sharpshooters. Um, let's put the monitor in the air. So right now we have colorless, 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 green. And we are 1613 into green. Let's put our... Actually, no, let's do our... Uh, Professor of Zoomancy. Um... I like that. One, four... Let's get rid of that. Get rid of the kudo. What am I at? My untapped thing is right in the way. Market creature until the end of turn, you rem may remove a 1 1 counter from it. Kind of dig that. For each kind of counter on target permanent, put another counter. Okay, this card is really fucked up. So maybe we don't play that right now. Unburden. Uh... 
Um, excerpt to draw. Excerpt to not be blocked by two or less. Mana dork. Uh, let's get rid of one of those. And then I need to ditch one more. What am I at? 13 creatures, 11 spells. Oh, do I keep both of these giant worms? Well, okay, let's give this a try. Three swabs and a ton of green mana needed. Ah, uh, that's better. What do I ditch though? Ratouche? No. I probably ditch... Scarab Feast. Gains haste till end of turn. Okay. green okay that's too many swamps in a row Cartouche of strength. Um, and then I will attack with him. The two four. Oh, smart.
Alrighty. So he's not untapping him. He's probably got some more stuff. I have death touch though, so we we will leave our wasteland scorpion as a blocker. Deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. Okay. Battlefield target creature can't block this turn? Okay. Oh! Nice. Sure, sure. doesn't untap, so I get another full swing. <clears throat> oh, fuck. Of course he played a big boy. And I get a land, so I'm just gonna do that. So he has three blockers. Oh fuck, I did. I'm done. He is lethal. Fuck. That was close. Good shit. Good shit. All right. We've already got one loss. Let's keep going. Creepy dude. Um, Jesus. Okay, well, hopefully we draw some, uh, some swamps and some low level creatures. Oh, his cute little cat. And go. Not the swamp you were looking for. Red, blue, eh? Red seems like the shit in this deck. Um, let me pay the cycling card to discard this card and draw another. Oh.
take the swamp. I'll take the swamp. Oh, and now it's flying? Hell yes. Uh, so now... I can... I'll put a swamp down. I will... Put three... Minus one, minus one counters on target creature. Do nothing. I don't have any fucking creatures. I don't have any creatures. Just fun. It's a fun way to play magic. With no creatures. Okay. My turn. A fucking forest. All creatures able to block target. No. No. Oh, let's end turn. Got nothing either. Fuck. Okay, let's uh. Let's look at his hand. Use a non land card from it. Cut. What the fuck? Got three puncturing blows. Nah, dog. Nah. Oh, of course he draws a creature. First strike as long as it's attacking. Uh, sure. Okay. I mean, you can play counter if you want. There you go. This guy's getting all the creatures. Son of a bitch. Okay, I can play Worm next round. He doesn't have any more counters. Oh, I can't play Worm next round? Four, five, six. Oh, I need seven. the land drop so now I'm boned for right now he's got seven on board how much is that doing five five damage to target creature okay 
Oh, oh I should have played this. What? Oh, because it was a fucking token. top card of your library you gain life equal to that card's mana value uh, okay three is going to be the most okay do I not gain did I gain that life already I missed it Ape shifting Claire. Oh my god. Okay. And he gets four life. Cool. Cool. game is not going great. It's interesting to play with a card set I've never played with before, though. <clears throat> okay, I will take the seven and kill this guy. Dead. I think I'm just dead. Could be our last one. Here. 
which I'm sort of okay with. This was free and a lot of fun. I got another worm. I got a cheetah. I got a two, two plus two plus two. I'm gonna keep. That's a pretty good hand, actually. Let's start playing green too. Death. Okay. My 2 2 is a little bit better. Okay. Uh, no block. Your one damage. So I could do cheetah. No, let's do not watchful naga. I want to doom fall him. I mean, I know he doesn't have... Oh, he's playing blue, too. Okay. Interesting. Uh, okay. Chance creature gets 1-1 one, one and has flying. Okay, well now I feel like I have to... Okay, so I'm going to attack, attack. All attack, two attackers. Wait, how do I exert? If I draw a mana, basically, oh. sacrifice. Oh, interesting. Embalm. You may pay the embalm cost and exile this card from your graveyard to create a token that's a copy of this card, except it's white, it has no mana cost, and it's a zombie. Huh. Interesting. Okay, if I get a land drop, then I can do Doomfall and then Bitter End after combat. I don't know how to exert. Hmm. Fudge. I didn't get a land, so I have to pick one. I think I'm going to... make them exile a creature.
Probably exile the guy that you can... Oh, you can't sacrifice it. He's exiled, so his... Nice. And I got my land drop. Fuck. Okay. I have to wait another round before I can attack with or ex exert watchful Naga again. I could block the stalwart on this turn, but that attack only brings me down to. 10, and I'm not super terrified of that. <clears throat> Another flying creature, okay. Another target creature gains flying. Okay. All of a sudden, he's got all the flying creatures. Um, I am going to... Cartouche of Strength, my cheetah. And have it fight. Them, and then I'm going to go to combat. I will swing it all. Oh, whoops. So I'm not hitting my land drop, so I'm not gonna play this worm. It doesn't have a cycling cost though, so I can't do it a little bit. Okay. Next I will float. I will plus one uh, the Naga. They will go to defenders. Okay. So they could put me down. Okay. So if you attack with your serpent, I will double block it, which will put me down to four. Uh, I don't hate that. I still need one more mana. Cast my worm, which will gain me some life. Oof. 
Beautiful. Give me seven life, to be exact. Rank up. Oh. Hold the line. This Hamlet shall not Mocha. fall. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Welcome to the Hamlet. Life party. Thank you for the follow. Super appreciate it. This is my first time playing Ammon Kit. Um, I I don't know any of these cards. So we did a draft. I'm on. I'm zero and two so far. Thank you so much for the raid. Knife party. Hello. I love that. Is that a little coffee cup? Oh, because you're Mocha. That's perfect. Love that little emote. That is great. Welcome to the Hamlet. Oh, thank you, Knife Party. Thank you so much. Oh. The big boy. Okay, so he's probably baiting me. So I think what I do is I double block. Triple block, actually. Maybe he's not baiting me. We were playing magic and talking about metal, so this seems like the place to be. Hell yeah. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, we're just chilling. I'm just, I've been having a little bit of troubles with, uh, the internet this morning. So we're just doing this draft and then we're going to call it a day. Um, and then I'll, I'm going to record some reaction stuff offline, but, uh, oh. Can I still get him though? Yes. Okay. G. Oh, I won one! We won one! Hell yeah! Not only do I not know Ammon Kit as far as like a magic block goes, but I've never drafted in Arena, so this is all, all new for me. All new. For me, just started playing Arena. Been back for about a week. Oh, nice. Okay, so I've been back, I guess, like, seriously uh, for the last couple months. I started dipping in last year around my birthday, and it was, uh, you know, it's helped me a lot. It's helped me a lot with the whole state of the world. I'm keeping that. Festering mommy. Um, yeah. Don't understand this game, but I support. Perfect. Next up to three cards from a single graveyard. So I'm just gonna play this guy. Okay, killing mummy with the beetle is not bad. Oh, or not killing mummy with the beetle. Okay, we can do that too. <laughs> Playing a ton of competitive shooters, I needed a huge break from that stress. Oh, nice. Yeah, I've been playing a lot of... Uh... Hold on one sec. I've been playing a lot of Paper Magic, which has been a lot of fun. Been collecting it. Um, you know, it's been, a, it's been a ton of fun trying to build decks that work like they do in Arena in real life. Kill him. 
Oh no! Ugh. Learn the new metas? Yeah. Well, I think it's it's difficult because it's there's so much going on. And I get really obsessive, so um, I start to play and watch everything I can. Can't believe I didn't see that coming. Return up to two cards. Well, I'm not going to pay three mana to just return the one. Um, yeah. No attacks, I suppose. I didn't even think that that was going to go. Yeah, so I'm watching a lot of YouTube, watching a lot of professionals. I'm brewing decks like crazy. Um, it's been... Oh, actually, you know what? I can block with this, and the next round, I will um, wander in death. Both of them back. Switch your library for a basic land, put it in. Okay. Sure. Oh, fuck. I should have. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, I'm going to cast that, cast this. Overturn both of those guys. I've been playing so much that I haven't watched any other magic streamers. You actually oh well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Rude. Rude. Okay. even have three? Okay, he does. Oh. Actually, cycle it. Oh, that's not bad. Where are you from? Uh, I'm just, I'm just from the west coast in Canada. In Vancouver, yeah. Oh my god, really? Additional cast of this spell, put a 1 1 count on a creature. Just Shitty, but nice. Um. Actually, you know what? Let's do Doom Beetle. <laughs> yeah. Putting two and two together. Uh. Oh, I can play all three of them. Never mind. Never mind. They don't help me a whole lot. I couldn't even kill the kudu if I full block. Really? Mm. Okay. I can't kill either of those guys now because they both have the same fucking power. So let's strength my Naga. Have him fight this guy. And then we will exert. Swing with him. Actually, you know what? Let's not swing with him. So I'm gonna sacrifice our next. Uh, let's go to damage. Oh, I didn't realize he had so much health. Wow. This is how you play a black green in this. That is intense. Eight health every swing. And I got a tree. Huzzah. Ugh. Just realized you were both running black. Yeah, I play a lot of Golgari in Paper Magic and in ranked. 
Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna GG. And he doesn't want to say it back, so... Whatever. Really? Really? Is it muted? Drafts are tough. Yeah, well, I mean, I would feel comfortable drafting in Forgotten Realms, I think, because I know those cards a lot. I've been playing a ton of standards. So that's my three losses. I get 100 gems and a pack for free. This was my free Amonkhet draft. So I don't hate it. It was fun. It was fun. Let's open up that bad boy. Oh, and I get my green dragon next. Cute. Cute. 32 days until this expires. So let's open this bad boy up. It's gonna be a lot of firsts. Oh, crazy. I like the Egyptian vibe. Hollow one. This spell costs two less to cast for each card you've cycled or discarded this turn. Damn. I'm doing the draft later tonight. Any advice? For Amonkhet? Um... I would just focus on cartouches and... Hold on, let me... Let me just look at my card list from the stuff that I just drafted. Oh, is it actually in my deck list now? It is not. Historic, let's do Almond Cat. Okay, so I drafted green black, which is great because there's lots of cycling um, cards in Almond Cat and getting the res cards with black is really awesome but i would focus on these cartouches seem to swing of a game more than anything else in this set um cartouches attached to or auras so they attach to creatures and then stuff like trial of strength when it gives you a bonus when cartouches enter the battlefield um and so i would maybe play around you know, two, three mana creatures get a lot of graveyard action and then play as, get as many cartouches in the draft picks as you can. Um, yeah. And I'm going to upload this. Oh, I wish it showed me which ones I drafted. I grabbed a couple of cards that were white blue, um, uh, because the packs didn't have any more green black in it. And I also grabbed this card. Oh, you can't fucking see that. I grabbed this card because it seemed really interesting, but then I chick totally chickened out and did not play it. Um, so there's some really interesting stuff in here. Actually, I probably would have won one of my three losses if I'd played this card. I lost my second game by like two health. I probably demonic pack deals four damage to any target and you gain four life. Yeah, I would have won for sure. <laughs> uh, but that's a tough because you only you have four. You have to win the game in four turns. Otherwise, you have to choose the lose the game option. And I think there's some really interesting stuff. But if you look at all the Amonkhet cards that I drafted. Like, almost every creature card I have has cycling on it. Even my deserts have cycling on it. So, if you've got some a lot of graveyard play, um, because you can cycle to draw a card and throw it in your graveyard, um, then you can use 
resurrection spells to just bring anything out of your graveyard, which is dope. It's dope. I'm about graveyard play for sure. Yeah. Uh, discard changes. I don't care. And it's fun because like, I get to do the free draft, which means I'm also going to get some free stuff at the end of the season for uh, having a limited rank. I'm still climbing um, constructed, but it's fun. I'm having a good time. Um, I'm going to go eat some lunch, and then I'm going to upload this draft video onto my YouTube. Um, I really, really appreciate all you guys go coming by and saying hello. Um, there's a link to my YouTube channel in there. I do some reaction stuff. Um, and do some news videos. I'm a, an editorialist and journalist for 15 years. So when I get into a hobby, spell something like magic, I can't help but keep on top of all the news and, and talk about that stuff. So definitely feel free to check that out or give some thumbs up or whatever, whatever you like. I really appreciate you guys coming to hang out and I appreciate the raid. I am going to follow you back and hopefully catch you uh, playing some magic soon. Enjoy your draft tonight. And have an awesome time. Thank you for sticking sticking around Knife Party. I truly appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you guys.